Hi everyone, today I have a craft haul to share with you. I spent a bit of money at the works. I haven't really bought much from them in a little while, but when I went on the website, they had an offer on which was free shipping on all orders over £10. So I kind of had to make a purchase. <laughs> the main thing I kind of needed and that's that's me kind of justifying it because I do kind of need it but I didn't necessarily need to buy it all now it was actually Christmas stuff I have lots of Christmassy papers and lots of Christmassy coloured things but I do feel like I need to bulk up my Christmas craft stash a little bit more so if you're not a fan of talking about Christmas this time of year then this maybe isn't the video for you <laughs> to start with I picked up two rolls of ribbon by Dovecraft um, these were 50p each and you get two meters on a roll. So I got this one, which is like an icy blue with snowballs, I suppose, or spots on it. And then this one, which I don't really know what to call that print. Is it Argyle or something? I feel like socks have that print on, if anything. <laughs> I then got some sequins. I got this pack and I also got this pack. They were both obviously, as you can see, a pound each. I think sequins is the one thing I don't really buy much of because I don't use them that often. But since I've been doing pocket letters for my patrons, I actually really enjoy making sequin shaker pockets in the pocket letter. And seeing as I don't really have any Christmassy sequins, I thought I might as well grab some, just in case any of my patrons this year want me to do a Christmas themed pocket letter. Next, I got this card pack. This was £1.50 and you get 18 sheets, which doesn't seem much, but they are all foiled and they're all decent sized card as well. Like the thickness of them is pretty decent. So we have this one, which is like ice skates. There's some bows and dots. There's some uneven stripes. There's some little Christmas trees and dots. There's one which says Merry Christmas in loads of different fonts. There's some uneven stars then there's uneven presents and when I say uneven I mean that they're not completely perfect they're almost doodle style and then there's some candy canes and some snowflakes I then got two washi tapes I know I don't need washi tapes I don't really have space on my washi shelf for these but I do store my Christmas washi tapes in a different box so kind of justified it like that <laughs> Um, but yeah, this one has like lots of different happy Christmases on with Christmas tree lights. And then this one is kind of airmail themed, so it's like Christmas airmail. They are by Ducrafts and they were only a pound each. Next, I got a little set of Ducraft stamps. So this is to make a wreath. I probably won't end up using this just to make a wreath. I actually quite like the foliage just by itself. Like I could use this in my journal. The circle I could easily use in my journal. It definitely works together, but each individual stamp will also work by itself. This was only a pound as well. I then got this one which again is by Do Crafts and again is a pound and this one is just a little gingerbread house and some sweets and a heart. I just love the style of this one. I think these two to be honest are kind of similar style. They have that not quite perfect style, that kind of doodle style that I really like and so yeah I couldn't really not get this one. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use a gingerbread house for. I know every year me and Jack do make a gingerbread house so I might get one use out of it <laughs> but it's definitely a cute stamp and it does have the little stamps as well which I can use elsewhere. I then got another stamp set which again was a pound but this one isn't by Decrafts. I think this one is actually by The Works. Yeah so this is their make and create range. I'll be honest I mainly got this one for the stag. The rest of them not massively fond of but yeah that stag is just so pretty. It's got so much detail and I really really hope that it stamps as good as it looks here. Even though this is obviously kind of aimed at Christmassy stuff I feel like the stag and the bow and the star and stuff can be used outside of Christmas. Next I got some crystal stickers which are basically just gemstones. I actually have quite a few of these from the works in different colours. Um, these were a pound and you get so many for a pound and obviously they are, they've got like sticky stuff on the back. But yeah I have so many of these in my stash but I don't have that many Christmassy coloured ones. These ones weren't quite as Christmassy as I expected. I was kind of hoping they would look a bit different to the photo like things usually do online um, and that the lighting or something was just blaring out the photo a bit because the green isn't quite the Christmassy green that I had in mind, but I will get use out of them, I'm sure. That's pretty much all the Christmas specific kind of stuff. These ones I did pick up for Christmas crafting in mind and Christmas journaling. So they're just white puffy alphabet stickers and they're in the uppercase. They did have lowercase. I wasn't too fond of the style. I think I'm just more drawn to capital letters when it comes to 
alphabet stickers. But yeah, these were a pound each, so I picked up two packs because that way I have more of each letter. I picked up this paper pad, which was £1.50. There is a few sheets in here that I'm not too fond of, um, but a majority of them I really like. I love that one. Uh, I really like that one. It's kind of like uneven hearts. I love the arrows. Not too fond on that one. Spots can be used whenever. Uh, florals are pretty. And again, that kind of chevrony arrow kind of style. I love it. I picked up a pack of these, which I have opened because I've used them in my journal already. When I chose these, I had my September journal challenge in mind. They're basically just fabric leaves and they were only a pound for 50. So you have three different colours, you've got the green, the yellow and the red. I thought they don't look too fake. Obviously you know they're fabric leaves, they're not real ones, but from a distance they do look pretty decent. This is where I used one of them. I used double sided tape to stick it down and then I just popped a couple of staples in it as well. But yeah, I think it looks pretty decent. I'm just really happy with them considering they're only a pound and how many you get in a pack. And then last of all I picked up these which are two sheets of alphabet stickers. They're a pound each. So there's two sheets in a pack and I got two packs. <laughs> um, so you have obviously A to M on the front and then N to Z on the back. And as you can tell they're meant to look like scrabble pieces. I don't have any alphabet stickers like this so yeah I decided to grab them. <laughs> I feel like I'm not going to be able to do a proper overview of everything I bought because there's just too much glare going on. But yeah this is everything I picked up at the works. I'll have a link below to the website it's always worth looking on there for cheap craft stuff because as you can tell most stuff is like a pound. I'm really looking forward to doing some Christmas crafts. I feel like I need to hold off until after Halloween though. That's kind of my cut off point once Halloween has passed I can look forward to Christmas and start planning Christmas stuff. But yeah if you do have any questions then let me know below and I will get back to you. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.